So uh, looking at uh, Palm City here, we're looking at, uh, well, temperatures got in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees, so not too bad there. Let's go ahead and put this into motion. And we did end up squeaking out a very nice sunset despite all those clouds because, look, things cleared out a little bit here. And, hey, yeah, that looks nice. Not too bad there. Also, we had uh, a very beautiful sunrise here. This is April's picture that I showed earlier, but look at that. Lee from Jupiter Inlet Colony, our weather spotter there. Look at that beautiful sunrise. Absolutely gorgeous out there, right over the water. Of course, breezy conditions continuing here. And uh, they may blow in a quick shower from time to time, but that's about it. Nothing real adding up to a whole lot. And you see a couple of these little streamers coming in. And speaking of uh, Jupiter Inlet Colony, well, we're getting a couple of those quick showers that blow in there, the southern end of Jupiter Island, right up the river there. And then uh, off into Martin County it goes. A couple more that are offshore, so we'll see that periodically through the night. Had a couple move right through Lantana, a little down around Lake Worth Beach too. Temperatures low to mid 70s, and you know we're not gonna go that far tonight. We'll be near 70 on the Treasure Coast, and we'll stay in the low to mid 70s for the Palm Beaches. High temperatures tomorrow in the low 80s. Everybody pushing in the 80s. We were almost there today, but tomorrow we will be. Still a lot of cloud cover around, though, as we have these clouds kind of draped over the southern tip of Florida. Maybe some breaks here or there, but for the most part, the clouds stick around, and they stick around on Friday also. Again, there could be a couple of breaks, especially late in the day. Staying pretty warm. This next cold front's not coming until Sunday night. So we got four to good days of into the 80s if you like the warmer weather. Then this cold front will come on Sunday, and we're going to drop those temperatures quite a bit. So winter going away, putting on pause for a few days. Then it really comes back a lot for uh, Monday and Tuesday and even Wednesday with temperatures only in the 60s. And uh, the rain chances stay pretty low, though. This won't be a big rainmaker for us. Humidity pretty much pegged in the muggy category and then drops a lot with the drier air arriving by Monday and Tuesday and even in the Wednesday too. Boating and beach forecast still pretty choppy tomorrow. Also Friday, a little bit less on Saturday and then uh, pretty looking decent on Sunday before the front arrives and then next week kind of looks like a mess. Low to mid 80s for highs here. You got four days of the warm temperatures to thaw out a little bit from the cooler weather that we had earlier. I'm sure you already have, though. But then the chilly weather's coming back, so don't put the jackets away quite yet. You're going to need them Monday and Tuesday. We'll see a lot of sunshine, at least, but it'll be chilly. 60s only for highs. Look at the 40s in the morning for a couple mornings.